Jefferson Stadium is brimming with excitement as the fans are ready for the start of this one. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Lewis has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down at the 36. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. From their own 36-yard line, first down. Toss play. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Rush down, and he's going to get sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. So that sack will back them up a little now. They're looking at a difficult third and 13. He goes out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. McGee is back to receive. McGee takes it to 28, and down he goes at the 40-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. Tackle at the 32. That is a loss of five on the play. That'll bring up third and long. to the receiver incomplete red was the intended receiver on the play so they couldn't pick up the long yardage and now they'll have to punt yeah they just couldn't connect on a pass there that was a very good stand by this defense Crawford is back deep to return oh excellent punt tackle at the 31 The Ducks really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Number seven makes the tackle at the 38 yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down.
on the ground with the tailback. And they get nice yardage on that run. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. I don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards of carry. One job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. So the sack makes this a second and long. And off to the left. Brought down around the 34-yard line. Well, I love the toughness here by this quarterback sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. Got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. And he's taken down at the 40. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. quickly and it's almost intercepted you like a team that's ready to defend the pass it takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that so it's second and ten ball on the 40-yard line dangerous throw this one's picked off he came up with a fantastic interception there well you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one he just made the wrong read First down. There's a strike complete. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. This is a huge play by this offense. What's more amazing is the quarterback put that ball into coverage, but his receiver went up and made a big-time play on it be able to pick up that first down. That's big-time confidence that quarterback showed in his receiver. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six Watch points here. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, one to Watch one. Watch one. He's tackled at about the seven-yard line. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. throws this one away let's see how the quarterback handles this one it's third and goal from the seven zipped it out and that was almost picked off Braddy drops the ball here I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what but that ball's right in his hands he just dropped it California could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away. No good. He pushed it to the right. So the junior kicker isn't able to put it through. The kicker just cannot hang his head after that miss. I know he should have made it, but they may need him a little bit later on. And he needs to be ready and confident when that happens. An interception cut this offense last drive short. So I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. They run it left. He 
fights forward to about the 20. That makes it second and 10. Second and 10. Ball on their own 20. Die gets the call. Makes it out to about the 29. Played one. Now this one's scoreless. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Here comes the pressure. And he can't get away from the pressure. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. And that'll be three and out. Crawford, back to return it. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Run right and hit the backfield. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. It's second and 13. Ball on their own 40. Brooks gets the call again. He fights forward to about the 43. Out of bounds right around midfield. See if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. From the 15, he's taken down at the 22. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Nice run up the middle. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. The draw play gets maybe two yards. That makes it second and eight. three-yard line. First down. Here's 
the halfback. Tackle made around the 41 yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll make it second and seven. bring him down at about the 29 yard line the offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed they're not in a hurry but they're very very methodical and very consistent with their approach that's a third first down that they've picked up on this drive and down he goes at the 27. From the 27 yard line, it's second down. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Here's play number 10 on the drive. The Ducks running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. Nice run, and he's brought down. Hardwell picks up about four yards on the play from the 10 yard line. Second down. Caught end zone for the touchdown. converts the extra point. It was an 11-play, 77-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Oregon is ready to kick it away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws in a hurry. It's broken up. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Got it and brought down immediately. That'll make it 35. Swatted away. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the safe thing, and that was just to tip it away. McGee back deep to return. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oregon is up seven. Looking to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. There's a strike complete, he's down. And they make the stop at the 49. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. Looks like they're gonna go for it on fourth down. Let's see if the quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Check, check. Check, 
He throws it. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. We've played a half. The Ducks lead 7-0. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this. But when your when your defense is executed at that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. You got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, maybe? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense because right now defenses are just winning out just about set to start the second half what are you looking for I i'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage and if they can find it they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide brad and kirk will be there to call the second half and we welcome you back to the action here just about set for the second half he really got a hold of that kick Tries to get around the corner. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Oregon up seven points. Got the corner. And that tackle very well could have saved the touchdown. So he keeps it and he gets a big first down quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Takes a hand off. Tackled for a loss. So four yards on the play. That, that makes, makes it second, second and 14. 14. Larry, Larry. Hey, check right, check right. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. He makes it out to maybe the 39 yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Steps up and goes down. Loss of six yards on the way. That makes it fourth and nine. Crawford is back to receive. He really got a hold of that one. Crawford takes it at the 23. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. Pretty good job by the return man there. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tries to buy some time. Tackle around the 39 yard line. That's a game of five on the play. That brings them second and From their own 39 yard line. Second down. Brought down at the 45. Good for a game of six yards. First down. Yeah. 
brought down after a nice run up the middle. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 50. And he's level at the 40. Gain of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Quick throw. He's tackled around the 26 yard line. Number 23 makes the tackle at the 26 yard line. First down. From the 26 yard line. First down. This one's going deep to the end zone. This one will fall incomplete. Number four is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Three down, three down. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Check, check. Run for Mike. Run, 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 run. Run play and he'll lose yards. down and they need to get it to the 15. They give to the tailback and he makes it on to about the 24 yard line. It's up, looks long enough, and it's wide right, no good. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Oregon is up by a touchdown. Here's a counter to the right. He gets hit out of bounds around the 42-yard line. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. And he's taken down at about the 49. him hard the 37 yard line first and 10 ball on the 37 scrambling around he'll take it himself brown gains about five yards on the scramble out of the pocket Second and five, ball on the 32. Makes it to the 24. is up a score. And he's tackled at the positive yardage. 
It's been a defensive masterpiece through three. Who'll draw up points in the final quarter? Oregon's lead is a touchdown. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. On the throw, incomplete pass. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Under heavy pressure. And he is drilled at the 25. That's a loss of five yards. That'll make it fourth and ten. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. The kick is up. And he got it. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 10-0, Oregon. Lewis looks ready to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They missed a chance at three points on their last drive. Yep. It was a rough go around for this kicker the last time. But this guy won't hang his head. If he has another opportunity to kick one, he'll be ready to go. They'll go Brown. Nice run to the outside. That's good for him. Five yards. That brings him second and five. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. made at about the 31. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Conversion, no good. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Nice run there as they work the outside. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Just under three to go in regulation. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of four on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. California just took their first time out. Well, Kirky managed to get enough there to move the chains. Yep, that's a great effort there by the running back to be able to get the ball upfield and pick up another valuable first down. He scrambled. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18. And he 
he's tackled at about the 19-yard line. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. The Golden Bears are going to call their second timeout. The defender had it and then dropped it. Quick thinking there. You know, they're liable to put the ball in the air on third, so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He gets it up, and it is good. Oregon is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I tell you what, this is something Pollock could love. Crunch time in a defensive battle. Well, he's sitting back at that studio loving this. Two defenses that are really imposing their will on these two offenses. Maybe they can even score to help out one of these offenses win the game. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. Hey, remember, you don't have to go for it on fourth down. The last time you had the football, you went for it on fourth down, and you didn't convert. Just think about this. If you move the ball into your opponent's territory and you want to take a chance and it makes sense to go for it on fourth down, I understand that and I get it. But when you're in your own territory and it's fourth down and five or longer, just considering a punt would make me so happy. Just under two minutes in the game. Caught out of the open. Steps out of bounds around the 40-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Here we go. Going deep. Lays it out there. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Well, that's the gamble that you take when you blitz. There was plenty of room in the secondary, and when he found his receiver, there was more than enough space to get the first. The offense needs something new down here in the red zone. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. Zips it to his receiver, touchdown. the extra point the seven play 75 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown brad how about the guys up front? the offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw and he's tackled at the 41 yard line this has been like a heavyweight bout, Kirk. Both teams just hammering each other defensively. Love to watch two defenses fly around like this and just lay into these offenses, not giving them any chance to put any points up on the board. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. We have less than a minute to go. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. From the 43-yard line, 
It's second down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He'll go down to one knee. Two times, two times. He might have a chance to the 20, to the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.